Hi guys, it's Deb Joyce Meek here from Delight of My Art and we have another Christmas project to do today but first I wanted to dedicate this video to Linda from Las Vegas who recently ordered from me. I uh, sent her a thank you card and she sent me a thank you card for a thank you card. So Linda, this is adorable. I love this fold. I have not seen this and it just pops open like this. So adorable! Thank you, Linda! So this video is for you. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys the Christmas card that I will be sending to my family this year. So this is what I've come up with. It uses some water coloring. I thought this was really pretty. So let's get stampin'! Okay, so here's the project we're going to be making today, and here's the finished card. We'll need one white, Whisper White cardstock um, base, card base, and then one piece of Whisper White, a quarter inch smaller, so four inches by five and a quarter. We'll need a piece of Whisper White scrap for the stocking here, an envelope, of course, because we always decorate the envelope. I love that. And then a scrap piece of the Lemon Lime Twist, and we'll just cut that into little pieces there. And then this shimmery white cardstock I've cut with the stitched shapes framelits in the second largest circle. I love how this shimmers. And then uh, using the Pretty Pines thinlets, I cut out the two, uh, two of the middle size pine branch and one of the smallest one in Garden Green. And then in Lemon Lime Twist, I cut out this little sprig with the five little um, petals there. So. Let's get started. We will put the envelope aside for now. And let's start with the inside of the card. What I've done here is used this stamp set, uh, which is Snowflake Sentiments. This is one that is a carryover from the holiday catalog, so I'm going to use this Merry Christmas from our family to yours because this is my family's Christmas card this year. So I've got that stamped or on the block already, and we're going to use basic black. I always like to stamp the inside of the card first if when I remember, because it stinks when you create something really beautiful and time-consuming on the front of the card and then. <laughs> you stamp the inside of the card crooked or something silly. So I'm going to put this here so I have plenty of room to write underneath it. That's lovely. Okay, we'll set that aside to dry for now since this archival black ink takes a little bit. Actually, since we have it open, we may as well stamp this Merry Christmas right here on our scrap lemon lime twist. This Merry Christmas is actually from the Merry Patterns stamp set. Get that here. This was the free item that you could earn, um, I think in October, I want to say, maybe November. But I really like, I like this stamp set a lot. So if you were lucky enough to get this, then that is great. So I'm going to use the Merry Christmas from this. I'm going to be cutting it pretty close to the words, so I'll just conserve paper here. And again, we're going to set that aside to dry, and I'll cut it out in a little bit. So we can put our black ink away, because we are done with that now. The other ink colors that we're going to use today are Real Red, Pool Party, Garden Green, and Lemon Lime Twist. I really like this color combo. Um, it coordinates with the Quilted Christmas um, Designer Series paper. Um, here's an example of a couple pieces from that. So I think this is really pretty. The only color that I'm not using from this set is Blushing Bride, which is also used in there. But let's go ahead and stamp the stocking here on our scrap piece of Whisper White. Ink it up real good. I think I need to re-ink my red. I'm glad I got the re-inker. Give that a good press. Oh, I'm gonna try it again. I'm actually gonna get out my whoops. 
Stampin' Pierce mat. It's way up here. <laughs> to get a really nice image. Give it a good press where it didn't get a good impression before. That's much better. This thing is really helpful. If you find you're having trouble getting a stamp to really get a good image, that is very helpful to, especially with the photopolymer stamps. Okay, so I still need red for, if you can see this, the, there's little berries inside of the twigs here. Like there. And in between these, oh, I've got ink on my hand, so I don't want to mess this up. But we're going to go ahead and stamp the background here before we emboss it. It is embossed with the softly falling embossing folder um, with the snow heavy at the top and then uh, lightly falling down. So let's go ahead and get out our piece. Where did my piece of paper go? Um, oh, <laughs> It's got all these little things on it, that's why. Okay, so I want this to kind of go here-ish with some things sticking off this way, so I'm going to leave this here while I stamp some things. So I've got these little pieces from the Hang Your Stocking stamp set. I've got the little berries from the holly and then this little star design that's kind of mimicked in the stocking here. So I'll be using those as little flourishy background bits behind all this stuff. So I'm going to get out the pool party and the real red. We were already using real red. Let's keep going with that. I'm going to put this over here so I don't dip my arm in it because that would be silly. Okay, so I want this to be kind of over here-ish and down here-ish. Sounds good. And then we'll get out the pool party ink. I think I need to re-ink this one too. That will be on the next order. Some re-ink. I just dipped my arm in that one. Okay. I want this one to peek out from the background, so I'm going to move this out of the way just a little bit here. This one's going to be off to the side like that one. And this one's going to be tucking in too. Just a smidge. I like that. Okay. Right now I'm going to go ahead and use the Big Shot to cut um, out my stocking and run this through the embossing folder, softly falling. So I will be right back. Okay, so we've got all our pieces here. I cut out the stocking and here is the uh, softly falling impression uh, embossing folder. So I put it pretty close to this edge. This is actually goes this way. So the bulk of the snowfall is from the top. Put that to the side. And now we're going to watercolor the um, shimmer, shimmery white cardstock. I love this stuff. I'm going to get a piece of freezer paper because I don't want to get my surface all wet. And I'm going to get out my um, watercolor, what is this called? These water, water pens. I really love these. I'm having a, a blank for <laughs> what it's called right now. And I have a piece of um, paper towel. I'm having a hard time thinking of think what things are called right now. Okay, I'm going to put all this stuff to the side for a moment so I can open up all my ink pads and have the lids open for um, use of the ink. Put all this to the side. Okay, so we want Garden Green and Lemon Lime Twist on this one. And Pool Party. So three colors on the background of the circle. So I'm going to give these a good press. 
This one was kind of dry, so I had to press it pretty good. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. That one's pretty juicy. Okay. All right. Aqua Painter, that's what it's called. Okay, so I'm just going to get some water going so that it's ready. And I'm going to start with the lightest color. I'm going to start with this pool party. And I'm just kind of going to squeeze some water out. So this is going to be pretty wet. I'm going to blob it here and over here. It kind of looks like the world a little bit, actually. Joy to the world, right? Christmas. For more intense color, don't add more water. But I want this to blend with the other colors, so I don't want it to be too dry. I'm going to get the color off in between colors here. I'm going to start with this lemon lime twist here. Just kind of blend that in and add more water. It's really swirly now. See, it's kind of pooling over here because the cardstock is kind of bending. That's okay. It will get more intense over there. That's kind of fun. I'll just add a blob over here. This is just kind of random, whatever. Every card's going to be different with this. So, again, I'm going to add a little bit more water so this bleeds a little bit. I have no idea what this is going to turn out to look like. <laughs> just winging it here. I'll put a little bit more green over here and add more water. That's a little bit too bright. Okay. I'm going to pause the camera so that this has time to dry. I don't want to use my heat tool because I don't want to blow the color. I want it to dry where it's kind of pooling with the more intense colors. I think I need more pool party here. It's kind of getting drowned out with these other bright colors. You can see my water is kind of, or my color is kind of oozing all over the place. Oh, this looks cool. I think I'm going to get a little bit more lemon lime twist here. Oh, some of it just ran right off. That's why I'm using freezer paper. Kind of helps. It's getting really. <laughs> really bendy. It's okay, we're going to use fast fuse to make this nice and flat on the project. On to the card. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and let that dry and then we can assemble the card. I'll time how long it takes. Okay, so it looks like it's been about 12-ish, 15 minutes. Um, so I've got all the pieces here to get put together, and then I've got the card base off to the side here. So let's go ahead and place everything on without uh, gluing it. Let's cut our words out here. Merry Christmas. I'm just going to cut it pretty close. doesn't matter if it's not fully straight. Just do your best. And then we'll cut those apart. Get rid of that. Okay, so it's nearly dry. It's not quite, but I don't know if you can see. It turned out kind of cool. I like it. So as it was drying, I was kind of getting it to be a little bit more flat. 
Okay, so we can put our biggest pine branches on here first. So I want to kind of surround this red berry here. Kind of have that poking in between those two. And then this one can have this berry kind of poking out between the branches there. And this one will kind of sneak out this way. <clears throat> and then this will go here-ish. I guess I need to pull this out just a smidge. This is where the adjusting comes in. And then this will kind of go there-ish. Okay, so, and then of course the words. That looks pretty good. Am I too far away? Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to put these things off to the side. Looks like that's laying about mm, the fourth branch down on there and then the third branch down on there. Okay, so I'm going to move this stuff off. Looks like this little thing is pointing right at my little blue thing. I'm just going to try to remember where things were. Okay, so I'm just going to put some fast fuse where I know that circle's going in the middle. And this should hold everything until I get the circle on there, which will really hold it. So, something like that. That looks pretty good. Oh, I don't have any adhesive right there. Okay, maybe a little bit more. Right there. And then a little bit more. Just so this has somewhere to land. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to place the circle on there. Does everything look good? I think so. Looking cute. I like it. You know what I think I did? I think this, <laughs> I think this is the short one and these two are the long ones. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we're going to put fast fuse on the back of this. I'm using fast fuse because this is an embossed piece and all this is kind of bumpy. Plus this has been watercolored, so it's kind of bumpy and we really want this to lay flat. I'm really covering the back here. Okay, so since these words are lemon lime twist, I'm going to make sure that this side where the words go, I'm going to put the lemon lime twist on the other side. So you see the background here is a little bit darker, so those words will show up a little bit better. Okay, so just about there. I'm going to push that all over. There, and that's really holding down the background pieces now. Now I'm going to put this down. Okay. I'm going to have the heel kind of overlap the little green piece here just a smidge and then we're gonna hang these off the edge of the circle just a tad so I'm gonna put adhesive just on the left side of the words oh, stuck it to my paper fold that back in Oop, now it's stuck to my finger Okay, like that, and then again, with this one, fast fuse is a little goopy, so if it comes off the side, just kind of peel it back to the back. Okay, so I'm going to center this Christmas right underneath the Mary, but they're both kind of hanging off the edge, and tap that down. Now this piece will go on the front of our card. I think this looks nice. Come out a little bit. Now I used a card base that has a little bloop right here, but 
I knew that this was going to cover it, so not a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to put fast fuse on this piece. Not too close to the edge because I know this will be fairly close to the edge, but to that other piece. Oh good, I got I got the words in there right. Do I just gotta double check? I forgot. Okay, so line up the bottom two corners and then the left side and the final side should be nice and straight as well. And there we go. So now we gotta decide how to decorate the envelope. And I didn't actually plan this part yet, so let's have fun. I don't want to put it on this adhesive piece. I'm just going to roll that away. Okay, so I like to decorate the back flap and then something on the front. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that I'm going to put this little stocking on the front and maybe holly on the back flap. I think that would be good. Okay, so I need re real red and the garden green. Where do I put that? I think it's over here. Okay, so now I gotta get those stamps out. Get a block. Get my cute little stacking in real red. And again, I'm gonna get out my mat here so that I don't biff up the envelope. Okay. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to put that off and make sure that my envelope is <laughs> right side up. Yep, it is. Okay. Off to the side here. That's cute. I love stackings. Our family has done stackings for ever since I was born. We always do it on my side of the family, so that is traditional. That's why I chose the stacking one here for our family Christmas. Oops, I need that for the holly. So I got the little dots all ready for the holly, and I'm going to take this little star one off and put the holly leaves on there. These are block A's. They're really nice size for these tiny stamps. Okay, so I got my garden green here. I'm just going to open up the flap like this. Move this down a little bit if I can. Maybe not. I'll move these up. Okay. There we go. All right, so I'll do the berries. Maybe we'll do a couple of these. Let's do a group of three. So this will go off. Let's see, let's do this bottom one first so we know where the other ones can go. I think I need a little bit more ink. One, two, three. Okay, so there is our card and envelope. So let me know what you think about this project. I really like it, and again, um, thank you, Linda, for placing an order. Again, today is another free shipping day. Um, most of you watching this, <laughs> it will be past already, but they've done two free shipping days this month alone, which is fantastic and really cool. So um, there are a few items that are retiring, a few items on sale, and of course, always check the clearance um, items. So um, make sure to check that out. My online store is delightofmyart.stampinup.net, and then you can Click on the drop down menu to shop now and um, please visit me on Facebook or Pinterest. Everything is the light of my art. So uh, thank you for watching and have a great day. Please comment below. I, that just makes my day and like this video because that small little gesture will really help me um, in the uh, search engine. Uh, so have a wonderful Christmas guys. Thanks. Bye.